Now let's take a look at the process for creating a new base enumeration. The X++ language has an enumerable type or enum, which is a list of literals. You need to create an enum before you can use it. Enum values are represented internally as integers. This means that they are stored in the database as a number instead of a value. This can be useful because it saves space. The first literal has a number zero assigned to it. The next has a number one, followed by the number two, and so on. You can use enums as integers and expressions when you write X++ code as well. Each literal or enumeration is assigned a text value through a label property. The label property is displayed to the end user in the user interface of the application. The system automatically does this conversion for you in the user interface so that no additional programming is required on the forms that display to the users. So let's take a look at a few types of base enumeration examples. The first is a no yes enumeration. This has two associated literal values where the no value is represented by zero and the yes value is represented by the value of one. Typically, this type of enumeration appears as a slider in the system in the user interface. These are also referred to as the Boolean primitive data type. Another example is the sales order status enum. This enumeration is used to set the status of a sales order automatically behind the scenes in code. Users can view the status of a sales order in the UI, however, they cannot manually change the status of the sales order in the interface. Next is an example of the ABC codes enumeration. ABC codes are used in several areas of the system to rate customers, vendors, or an item, for example. The user is presented with a list of options and they can select one option from the list. Another example is a posting type. For this example, the user has displayed a variety of radio buttons. When each radio button is selected, the user interface updates with the new values or information related to the selected radio button. In this demonstration, we're going to add two base enumerations to our Development Basics Fleet Management System project. To do this, we'll, re we'll repeat the same process to add new elements to our project by going to the Solution Explorer, right-clicking the project name, going to Add, and choosing New Item. An enum is categorized under the Data Types node, so from the left we'll choose the Data Types group, and the first option in alphabetical order is Base Enum. So I'll select that, and I'll give my first enum a name. We're going to call it DB Drive Type to specify the type of drive for the vehicle. We'll choose Add. I'll go ahead and repeat that process. This time I'm going to use the shortcut keys, Control Shift A with my project highlighted and it'll bring up that same window to allow me to add new elements to my project. Again, we're going to choose base enum and we'll call this one DB status type. This will indicate the status of the vehicle's maintenance. I'll choose add and it's going to add it to my base enums folder. We can see my two newly created enums and now we can begin adding new elements or new options, new status types and new drive types to these enums. And to do that, we can right click and choose open. However, both of these are already open here in different tabs. We have my DB status type enum and my DB drive type enum. Let's start on the status type enum. We can right click the root node here in the element designer and choose new element. This represents a new choice, a new status type in this enums list. We're going to have five different status types, so I'll keep adding new elements until I reach five. And then we'll go through and assign system names to the enums and labels. So on the first choice, if I right click here on the node and hit rename, it's going to allow me to add the system name for this enum. So this first status is going to be available. And then in the properties pane on this choice, I'll set what I want the label to be. The label is what the user will see on forms and reports. 
So I'll keep the label as available. That's a very user-friendly status. The next option is going to be in maintenance. Now I can right click and hit rename and I'll type in maintenance. Now we notice I can't use spaces here because this is just a system uh, naming convention for this choice. And the label, I'm free to add spaces and type it as I please. Okay. We'll continue on to the third choice. This time I'm going to use a shortcut key. I'll press F2 with this choice highlighted as a quick way to rename an element. This option will be in repair. I'll go down to my label property and type in repair. For the fourth choice, we'll use in detail. And again, I want to mirror that on my label with a space. And for the final choice, I'll hit F2 to rename it. And it's going to be out of service. And for my label, type out of service with spaces. Okay, so now we can see if I click the very first option in the list, which is the status of available, the enum value property is zero. It begins at zero and then it increments from there. So I have five choices, which are represented by zero through four. As I click the different element choices, we can see the enum value increases and that continues through the list until I reach the last one. And remember this numerical value is what's stored in the database. Okay, so now that we've finished that element, let's go over to the DB drive type enum and we're going to have four different drive types. So again, I'll right click the root node of my enum and choose new element until I get to four choices. And we're going to have four, four wheel drive, all wheel drive, rear wheel drive, and front wheel drive. So I'll specify those values as FWD for front wheel drive. And the label, I can spell it out fully, but FWD is a common acronym for front wheel drive vehicles. So I think my users would appreciate that. I will continue on the list. This one will be RWD for rear wheel drive. I have my label be the same. The next one will be AWD for all wheel drive. And the final one, we'll call it four wheel drive. And for my label, I'll use the number four instead as four WD to indicate that vehicle has four wheel drive. Okay, so now these elements are created. I've added my choices they have enum values and labels. So I can right click each tab up here and save to save that individual enum and make sure all my changes are being saved to my project. Alternatively, we can click this icon here with two disks to save all of the elements. The shortcut key for that is control shift S. Okay, so now we just want to go ahead and make sure we do a build on our project to make sure there's no errors and everything is looking good. I'll right click the project and choose build. And we can see in the output down here, it updates with the status of our build. It'll notify us when it's complete and then we can continue developing and adding new elements to our project.